The snow glows white on the mountain night, not a footprint to be seen. A kingdom of isolation, and it looks like I'm the queen. No, wait, that's not the question, is it? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Miss Sweet. For a disclaimer today, if I sound tired and slow, I'm actually starting to feel a bit more awake now since I've been standing here talking to you. And also if you hear wind and rain and stuff, it's just that the window right behind you is open and it was rather warm in the previous episode, so if you hear the ambiance of wind and rain, then yeah, apologies for that. You're not, you're not, you're not, uh, uh, you're not going to be affected in any ways possible because we're inside. <laughs> yeah, today's question today is. Da -da -da -da. No, it's not too dark. It doesn't seem too dark on the camera. It's really dark in the corner of my room over there. See how dark that is. Oh, the camera picking it up. That's my nightwear, so don't get any funny ideas. <laughs> I have several nightwares. Um, so, the question today is from another anonymous, and they ask Are you holding on to something you need to let go of? Raining. No, it's not rain. <laughs> Am I holding on to something that I need to let go of? Um, what do I need to let go of? I think... Sorry, I just heard paper rubbing. <laughs> Let's move that one. Picture beyond me moved. Um, actually, probably some. Yeah, I've got a load of receipts falling down. Probably them. But anyway, I'm going off the subject. Uh, no! No, 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 no. Off you go, you fiend. Uh, I think. Uh, I don't have anything major, really. Nothing really major stands out. But for today's episode, I have to say, it would be uh, from the Sim series with Mortimer Goff and the Goff household. Um, ever since The Sims 1, I've always had the strange fear that no matter what version of the game, that whole Goff household would burn alive just because either one of them, especially Mortimer, has burnt the dinner or whatever food they were making. Because the first time when I played the Goths was in 2002 when I first got the game. And I sent Mortimer one morning to cook up breakfast. So I did that. And... Everything was going according to plan, but as soon as he put the food on the stove and cooked, the whole stove and oven went alight. And music started to play like da 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 and that was really weird for me. Really weird for a ten-year-old kid at the time. For is there a shark coming? No, no shark coming. And then, what else was weird was the way the Sims screamed and panicked. I found that really traumatizing. Uh, I mean, 
Yeah, fire there. Ouch, burn pain. Oh, but it's the way they were screaming. Like, oh, no, no, it wasn't a stuff. No, that was really wasn't a cause of concern for me. It was that when Mortimer got consumed with the fire and burned alive. His screams were really, at the time, terrifying. Very terrifying his screams were. I don't want to mimic him because, yeah. <laughs> I'll get questioned. But it was screaming in such pain and agony. It was, I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't get off the lot. I couldn't save. I couldn't do anything. I was like stuck there. Just watching Mortimer being burned alive. And such murderous screams. It was just terrifying for a little kid. It's freaking terrifying. And also it happened with Bella Goff as well. Uh, most of the times the fire just kept pushing. <laughs> Somehow the fire always seemed to like jump back. And I always thought to myself, Oh, the fire doesn't want to touch them shoes. <laughs> yeah. Somehow Bella always gets not affected. <laughs> it must be the shoes. There's got to be the shoes and the dress. It's fabulous. Uh, the Goths never appeared in The Sims 2 for me. So, it's a bit of a break from that. The Sims 3, uh, the first console, not console, PC a version of the game. Um, I was really reluctant to play the Goths then, even though Mortimer was a child and children kind of die as well there. I did play them, everything went fine, but I always, always in the back of my mind, had to change the stove to a microwave because I just didn't trust them. And with The Sims 3, they always learned to cook with the skill. So every time when they cook, the little skill bar goes tick 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 up oh, every time when they made something, which was good. So after a period of time, they all learned. Luckily. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. As for The Sims 4, recently actually, not that recent. Probably some point late last month, I played with the Goths for a bit, and I, I was, I was really reluctant to send Mortimer to cook. I have to say, Mortimer looks really sophisticated in the Sims. I love it. His mustache is fabulous. <laughs> um, yeah, but I was really reluctant to send him to the stove and do anything. I told him to like make a cake or something. I wanted to make him. I wanted to make cookies. Uh, for Alexander, because we played a little violin, it was so cute. Um, but, I can, oh, but I could only make a cake, so I did that. I was like holding on to my breath, thinking, Don't burn the house down, for the love of God, don't burn the house down. <laughs> and then he didn't. I was like, Oh my god, he's not dead. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> it was like, ooh. So, the more. Oh, it's just a flower pot. The more I play with the goths, and the more I tell Mortimer to cook something, the more confident I feel in sending him. Being a chef or something, <laughs> stuff like that. I know it sounds silly, but it's, it, it, hearing those screams of death and murder from a ten-year-old's perspective was traumatizing, and it will scar you, scar you. Uh, yeah, I was told to. I was told that they can learn the skills, and I can let it go. But oh, that ain't it. <laughs> It's an emotional scar, not a logical scar, god damn it. <laughs> yeah. That's that. Thank you, Modern Goth. 
You and your murderous screams and lack of cooking. But at least you look fabulous. Very fabulous. <laughs> okay. I hope you liked today's episode. Um, if you want to take part in a future episode of Ask Me Sweet, make sure you add the hashtag. No, wait. If you want to take part in a future episode of Ask Me Sweet, make sure you send your questions to my Spring Me, my Facebook, my Twitter, and down here on YouTube. Make sure you add the hashtag Ask Me Sweet to the end of your questions, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you really like today's dramatic video. <laughs> Make sure you give it a like. If you really, really liked it, give it a favourite. Also, there's a subscribe button down below. Make sure you click it. Oh, and from last episode, you clicked that subscribe button and the summons came out. <laughs> Thank you for that random person, subscriber person. If you click it today, there'll be more sunshine and probably some cupcakes. Get some cupcakes. Let's get some cupcakes and make some bake some cupcakes. Mm. <laughs> I'll talk to you on another day, guys. Bye bye. What?